I'm going to talk a little bit about my 2912s. I have a pair of them. But uh, they have had some troubles. And uh, I'll go through uh, a couple of them. First off, how do you open them up? First thing you do is there's a wooden centerpiece at the top it just simply lifts straight up you normally grab it each end and lift it up next you can see down the middle that uh, there's two bolts, one holding the back stay. Normally there's the other black cover on the back, it's not there at the moment, but uh, ignore that. When you take the wood off, you see that there's two screws or nuts here and there. So you undo that. There's a, a spring washer and a flat washer. Right. Put them aside. Now, as you can see, that uh, is now loose at the top. I place uh, just the nut on its own a couple of turns on there so that uh, when the front is loosened off it's not going to fall over or, or uh, it'll just hang there makes uh, things a lot safer the second thing after undoing or taking away the top wood piece is to remove the sides now the sides there's a metal ex extrusion that goes down the side it's held by two screws at the top and at the bottom there's a a nut which holds the bottom before you get to undoing that there is a there is a little plate which sits underneath like that so you undo the little tiny screw which is which are these little thingy bobs you take away the plate and then you undo the the large nut that's uh, there then the bottom of the side extrusion will be loose and uh, you can then loosen or take off these two screws I've put them back in there temporarily just as a safe place to put them okay so we're going over that again center wood piece out loosen center nut put uh, just the, the nut back on the, the washers get in the way and, and fall about and you don't want that so just the nut there just loose to stop it falling forward R remove the side excursion there's a small screw then a nut at the bottom and two screws at the top and the bottom it gets a bit awkward take your time right the next step is to remove the front cover. What we have is seven tiny screws down each side so there's 14 screws that hold the uh, cover on. That's what they look like, little tiny things. Undo the whole 14 of them and then you take the whole front cover off 
Now, after taking those 14 screws, it should be all loose now. The only thing holding it on is the, the nut that you left there on the top. So, making sure you've got a grip of, good grip on the top, or sides. Take the nut off, and then this should just lift away, like that. But don't go too far, because you need to undo the little connector down, down the bottom that feeds the uh, What goes into the bottom of the front cover is a little LED circuit board with uh, LEDs on it. There's a little tiny connector and you undo that like that. Place the front cover somewhere safe, out of the way. The front, same goes for the back. The, the back is slightly different in that you have to, there's the back stay there, which supports the, uh, the rear of the unit. You need to undo here and, and tilt that arm right out of the way there's a so uh, on the rear you'll see that there's a number of nuts here you need to loosen the arm and uh, just let it fall away but be careful where it goes <coughs> uh, make sure it uh, it doesn't uh, come loose to anywhere untoward but uh, if you can do that that's good don't uh, don't bother trying to undo it down the bottom uh, un unless you feel so inclined. Uh, it just uh, it gets a little bit awkward. Uh, what I tend to do is, uh, once I take the cover off, I actually put the stay back onto the, uh, the unit here and it's somewhere for it to sit uh, safely. That stay there, it's just... Uh a screw thread which uh, tightens or loosens the arm and uh, it's uh, not easily removed and I find no need to. You can see up the top where the cover sits in there but I have it just loose there like this without the now you can see the covers removed and uh, it's somewhere for the arm to go. It doesn't hinder you uh, doing any work on the on the panels. I've I've already taken the cover off and the dust cover off on on this side, and um, I plan to put them back on eventually. This is uh, just open while I'm working on it. Okay. Now the. The dust cover is very similar to the 63. It's uh, held in these uh, little grooves here, like the 63. Once again, you use a little screwdriver in the corner on the metal square piece and, and uh, pull them out like that. and uh, slowly undo it. Always making sure you've got a good grip on it so it doesn't suddenly um, bounce out. Right. Just like in my 63 uh, removal. So you remove the, the dust cover on both sides and then you're able to uh, investigate the panels. That's another story.